and you're launching your own sneaker line now too? Um, well, I'm actually launching my own sneaker line. I also have been customizing sneakers for the last two years. So that's something I'm very interested in. You're 16 yeah. years old. Yes, I'm, I'm 16 years old. Oh, my God. My son is 15. <laughs> I want Chase to give him a job. <laughs> I'm going to be calling Chase oh, real soon. Oh, you could soon. be one of my investors. You could be one of my he's investors. Not, he's, he doesn't have any money. That's why he needs to work for you. Uh, wow. All right, there's a little generation gap going on here because, uh -huh. in my opinion, like the idea of selling or buying used sneakers is kind of crazy. Except the other day when my son came down and told me that he had sold a pair of sneakers that I bought him for like a hundred something bucks for like three hundred dollars oh, yeah. on like this is no big deal for you. Are the these sneakers sneakers actually it's totally more insane more? as far as the I'm The sneakers concerned. come out at retail but they end up going for a lot more because they end up selling out and it's like the stock market down here where you can come in you can trade stocks just like you can trade sneakers, you can sell shit, just like you can sell sneakers. But if there's a shortage of hot inventory, how do you get your hands on the inventory? That's where Don't the, tell her. Don't yeah, tell her. Yeah, I can't really tell you that now. <laughs> um, no, it, you just, like, I, like, we know our sneakers and we go out and get them. So, like, say we get the sneaker, it's, it's right there in our hands. Or oh, people usually come to us. We buy sneakers and sell sneakers. What's your demographic? Because, yeah, when I was growing up, everybody said, uh, you got to play golf as you get older. And now I've gotten older, but I'm still playing basketball with all my friends who are older too. Are, are people like me buying these uh, sneakers as well, Everybody. or not so much? Everybody's buying the sneakers, whether they play golf, basketball, lacrosse, or football. Um, Do they buy them things, to collect or to, to play in? Oh no, they buy them to collect. A lot of people okay. buy them to collect. They've sit in their closet for years. A lot of people wear them. My father I wants me to play basketball, but I'm gonna be a businessman. What's sneakers. hot right now? What's hot right now? Hey why? Kelly, one thing um, that what's hot right now is yeah. mostly Jordans, Adidas. I think Adidas are nice shoes, but Jordans are more collectors, phone posits, LeBrons, and Kevin Durant and Kobe. What were you saying, Kate? Kelly, one thing I think is really interesting is just the power of Instagram driving their business. When they when we were at their store, Troy and Chase were posting pictures, and within you know minutes, the phone was ringing off the hook. People are coming in the store to come and see what they've actually got on their shelves. So I think that's one really interesting point that Chase can probably speak to. Instagram is driving your traffic within minutes. Oh, yeah. What's your handle on Instagram? How many followers do you have? Um, Instagram, we don't even have that many followers. It's just that Instagram, we're, we're building up our Instagram. We're building up our online business. So we post all of the sneakers that we get in the stores. We post the latest deals and the latest stuff with the stores. And we just post them up and everybody goes crazy. So what's I think, next? Can I, I just, I just... Is, does Nike and Adidas make very small lots? Do they basically do they basically create the demand for you? If there's you? seven billion people in the world, and then three three billion on one sneakers, and they're only making five hundred thousand, and of course everybody's gonna go crazy if I'm gonna stand on lines. And how, how much are they attached to? Hold on, this we got we got last question. We gotta go. Because go. he's asking an interesting question here. Uh -huh. There's two issues. One is, are they helping you in terms of creating? small lots so that there is this aftermarket. But then the question is also, are they leaving money on the table at Nike that they should be charging more for these sneakers? No, because nobody would probably buy the sneakers if they, if they don't do that. That's where we come in. We're the resellers. So most people will not, a regular person will not pay $200, $300 for a pair of sneakers, but they'll come to us and pay it if they haven't got their hands on Chase it.